You know, uh, we put together a couple articles uh, explaining the arc flash sticker because I find a lot of people don't even know how to interpret it. They have an arc flash study done, a sticker's been put on their panel, like this panel here, and they don't know what to do with it. So we create a couple articles. But it's one thing to read it, it's another thing to go out in a field and have somebody walk through with you to understand what the sticker means and how to apply it. So that's what we want to do. We want to take a couple moments and take care of that for you. So when it comes to the arc flash sticker, the first thing you want to be aware of is the incident energy. Now for this panel, it's 7.4 calories. What does that mean to you? You don't need to know the science behind it all, how it was calculated. You know it's 7.4, so you know you need to choose the proper PPE gear that'll protect you at 7.4. Now for most of you, you're, you're limited at a category two, which is eight calories. So you should have at least an eight calorie uh, PPE kit. That might be a jumpsuit with face shield and the sock and all the different stuff with it. You should have some basic uh, leather gloves and you should have some voltage rated gloves, so the rubber with the leather. So you know that you're gonna need at least your eight calorie kit if you're gonna take this cover off to be able to protect yourself on there. It talks about it's at 18 inches. So what does 18 inches mean? We've marked some lines on the ground here and 18 inches is pretty much this. If you take your arm and put it straight out and you extend it from your chest to your wrist, you would realize that your distance is between 19 and 22 inches. So if you're gonna be taking the cover off if you're like, hey, I need to do a voltage reading on here, I know that I'm gonna be making contact coming into this area. I know I'm gonna be exposed to that full, that full 7.4 calories. So I gotta make sure I choose the proper PPE and I wear it. The next component I wanna bring out because we're so close is the restricted approach, which is 12 inches. What does the restricted approach mean? I know that's gonna be a very short working distance. That means that I have the potential of making contact and I could get shocked. So if you're gonna do a volt reading and make contact with a circuit to find out if you have voltage or not or the correct voltage, you wanna make sure as part of your PP, you choose your rubber and your leather gloves. Let's look at a couple of the other ones here. The other one is the arc flash boundary. That is four foot seven inches. So that's this blue line all the way in the back. And it seems like a pretty far distance when you look at it. But what does that tell you? That tells me that if somebody stepped in that zone, in that four foot, seven inch zone, they have the potential to get a second degree burn. So if I walked in, the cover was off, I have exposed skin, face, neck, arms. If a flash happened, there could be enough heat generated, even at this distance, that I can get a second degree burn. That's on there. The last one I want you to be aware of is a limited approach, and that's three feet, six inches. So what does that tell me? Really, that somebody in that zone should be a qualified person and know how to work in an arc flash environment on there. So how do you put all this together so you can do your job safely? You want to show up to the panel. You want to look at the calorie rating so you choose the proper gear. You need to know what area you're going to work in, if I'm going to need gloves on top of that to protect myself. I also got to realize that if my arc flash boundary is out four foot seven inches, how do I create boundaries on there to keep people out who are not properly protected if a flash happens so they don't get burned. So the next time you're gonna do your job, walk up to the sticker and make those basic assessments. What's the calorie rating? What's my proper PPE that I need for it? And what's my boundaries I need to establish to not only protect myself, but to protect those who might come in contact in that area.